Hello everyone, Ben Moore from Training with BM here, helping you to work smarter, not harder. So today's video, we're going to look at something that a lot of people have asked me about recently, um, and something that I actually feel is really uh, positive and beneficial to uh, especially support staff um, at the moment during this remote learning period. So hopefully this is going to help. Are you sick of always having to send emails to the, the same group of people um, and having to type in their email addresses every time? Or well, this might just be the video for you. So if you don't have access to create yourself a Google group, uh, which most people in a school or organization wouldn't have access to do, um, no need to fear. You can set up your own group that you can see locally on your account, uh, but nobody else can email that same group. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that today. So as you can see, I'm in Gmail at the moment. And what I need to do is get myself over to Google Contacts, not Google Groups. So the way I'm going to do this is go to my Google Apps menu or the Waffle menu, as I call it. And we're going to scroll down until we find Contacts appear. It might be slightly further down for you. We're going to click on Contacts. OK, you might see some Contacts appear here already. If you don't, don't worry. You, we can pick them up still. It's, it's not a problem. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a label on the left hand side here. I created one earlier on, uh, but I'm going to show you how to create another one. So we're just going to put, uh, put in here IT support. That's the one I'm using for this instance. But for you, it could be attendance. It could be head of years. It could be PE staff, you know, whatever you want it to be. And just click save. So I'm just going to put IT support one just so it doesn't get confused. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a particular contact or use the ones that are in front of me. It doesn't matter which. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to use these three here uh, to start with. Uh, we're going to go to the three uh, dots here on the right hand side to more actions and just go on to IT support. OK, now you'll see another one appears next to IT support on the left hand side. That means the contact has been successfully added to that label. Now I'm going to do that for the rest of these contacts here. And each one should update and a number should go up by one each time. Now, if your contact isn't here, you can search for it at the top. So I'm going to type admin account there. And then all I'd have to do is click on the three dots again and uh, hit IT support. OK, then I come out and close. So you see that then uh, goes up to four. So I've now got four contacts within that IT support label. Now, if I go back to Gmail, this should update fairly quickly. But just to be sure, if you refresh your inbox, and go to compose a message now. So in this instance, it's IT support. So I might have uh, lots of people, you know, I might have spoken to a parent, uh, a student struggling getting signed in. I need to get this sent to IT support or these uh, particular members of staff that I've put into that group. Now, instead of typing their emails in individually, I can just type IT and you'll see IT support comes up. If I click on that, it brings all four of those email addresses that I've just put into that label straight into the email and I can very quickly type out what I need to type and hit send straight away. So this is really beneficial, especially to those support staff that are you know, taking on extra responsibilities at the moment, having to call home with parents, um, you know, and having to email lots of teachers all the time. This might be a particularly useful way for you um, to slimline your or streamline your process and um, save you a little bit of time save you a little bit of energy because it is all about working smarter not harder especially in the current learning situation you know we don't want support staff to burn out um, they are the, the beating heart of the school um, so this is this is uh, hopefully going to help a lot of you out so please uh, try it out see how you get on uh, leave me a comment if you've got any questions or feel free to contact me on twitter at training with bm um, Please also like and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me getting these subscribers. Um, it really helps me out and, and helps me reach a wider audience. So please hit that like button, subscribe for me, um, and let me know if there's any other videos you want to see. In the meantime, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.